Gary played me a piece of tape. I was on your TV show in 2006, and mm-hmm. they had just announced that you were going to be the Tonight Show replacement for Jay yeah. when Jay retired. And, right. you, and it was many years off. Right. And I turned to you on your show, and I was half being funny, but also I said, um, it's going to go horribly wrong. Yeah. When your time comes, Jay will fucking not let you have that show. Yeah. And the audience was going wild, and they were laughing, and you were even <laughs> like, hey, it's 100 years from now. It's never going to, you know, knew? Who knew? Who knew? Yeah. and I said, wow. I sound like I knew what I was talking about. You know what <laughs> you, I mean? You knew <laughs> exactly what you were talking about. Yeah. I, you know, I look back on that whole thing, which was, uh, you know, craziness, but, um, and I don't like to talk about it much, and I'll, I'll tell you why. Yeah, why? I don't like to talk about it much. In, tr- in fact, I really try to avoid talking about it because for a long time I decided, first of all, nobody in show business should complain. It's just rule number one. Don't you complain. You sound like a whining. Uh, yeah, when you exactly. Make that kind and, of money, you know, but, we make crazy money and you know. we're getting to live out our dreams and then you're complaining and anyone listening uh, is rightfully thinking you're a jackass. But the other point is on my TBS show, there were a couple, I really made a point to like, I'm going to be positive and I'm just going to keep doing it. And guess because it was the big thing, would bring it up and ask me about it. Right. And, they would, and, and I would make a joke to try and I'd just make a joke about the and whole thing. And gloss over it. Yeah. And gloss over it. And then I would read the next day, Conan can't get, you know, let can't it go. Can't get over it. And you know, the thing is, I, I, I think I, I remember saw, that. I thought I saw let it go. And I remember thinking a guest asked me about it on the right. air. Yeah. How do I let it go? And I, if I talk about it for a second, someone's saying like, oh my God, Conan, you know, I know. Enough shut already. up. Yeah. Shut up. And so. What people don't understand is that it, you, you beat the odds and it, it's rarefied air to get a talk show and to be in this kind of thing. And people don't understand another thing. I remember there was a point. Where Fox TV came to you and said, we're going to give you 20, something crazy, $28 yeah, million dollars crazy. to jump over to Fox. Yeah. NBC heard about it. They said to you, well, we're going to give you $8 million, but we're going to give you The Tonight Show when Jay retires. Yeah. And you had such a fixation for The Tonight Show, yeah. as many performers do, because sure. it's rare to get that offer. You said, I'll fuck the $21 million. Fuck you, Fox. I'll stay with NBC because I want that Tonight Show. I want my shot. Here's the other thing. I never made a decision in my career based on money. Not once. I'm not going to lie. It's nice to have money. Right. But I've also not had money, um, and I'm okay with that. I really wanted to keep my body of work. All I ever wanted was a body of work. And that can sound pretentious to people, but it is the most important... Next to my family, my wife and kids, my body of work is like the most important thing to me. It's your legacy. It's my legacy, and I've put so much into it, and I'm really proud of the good stuff I'm very proud of. And so the idea of leaving NBC on bad terms or leaving and not having access to 16 years of work that I'm incredibly proud of was crushing to me. So I do not regret anything. I don't regret trying. I don't regret. Uh, I, I feel like a lot of your career and in your life, it's all how you play the cards that you're dealt. And I was dealt certain cards at certain times, and I've been extremely fortunate. That I'm, I'm the poster boy for luck in show business, but when all I also this- think that I've been dealt cards at times which, which aren't the best, and I'm proud of the way I played them.